Oh no. Oh no. We, we got a bit of an awkward start to an episode here, everybody. So here, here's what happened. You might remember last episode, we made this blast furnace and it's amazing. We're turning iron grit into pig iron. This is like the first step to making steel and we're mass producing this stuff now, which is awesome. But we also realized at the end of last episode, we probably need to make this other blast furnace to finish the process. And I got everything ready to make this at the end of last episode, but that was like a week ago. And I don't know where I put the stuff now. <laughs> so I've been looking all around our base here trying to find it. I thought for sure I left it in Chester, but Chester doesn't have it. And I'm like checking all the chests around here now. Um, I did get some stuff ready to make an, a black steel anvil as well. Went on a mining run, so we got a bunch of graphite and kale tonight. I used that to make the fire bricks, and I thought, like, they would be in here. No, no. So I gotta kind of look around our whole base now to figure out what I did with those things. And we have barrels and chests all over the place. It's not super organized. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, it's the fire bricks. Okay, okay. Oh, and here's the rest of it. Okay. Why did I put that in here? That doesn't make any sense. So we got to make a multi-block structure, a 3 by 4 by 3 and it says it's got to be hollow. Ooh. And again, these are like gas tiers, blaze rods, and uh, redstone, I think. So that gives us 36 of those, and I think that's enough. Now, I know in the past, you had to put lava in the middle of this thing. I don't know if that's still the case. Like a long, long time ago. And very old modded. But then I think they got rid of that because it was really confusing for people. Yeah, we're just going to sink into the wall like this, like we've been doing with the other stuff. And this should be it, hopefully. Oh, no way. Does it actually need lava? Or did I miss a block somewhere? I'm going to make it solid. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. It might need lava in the middle. Oh no, it worked. It worked. Okay, why why didn't it work the first time? I don't know. Anyways, now I think we can turn the pig iron into full steel now. Oh, but it doesn't take charcoal? It says it can use charcoal. Uh-huh. So this is a prime example of why modded Minecraft can be so confusing, especially for new players. So it wants Minecraft charcoal. It's not the same thing as terra craft charcoal, which is what we have. This is terra craft. Uh, we produce this in a coke oven. We get Minecraft charcoal also from a coke oven, but it's two different coke ovens. You, you see? <laughs> so, uh, we can't use this charcoal, and we can't get the Minecraft charcoal until we build that other coke oven. Uh, so, until then, we can use coke. We got a little bit that of that from, I think, Quest Rewards. Get all the logs out of here. So these are the coke ovens we're using currently. These are from Railcraft. We need the one from Immersive Engineering, which is much bigger than this and more expensive. <laughs> but I think we can turn... Yeah, this will turn into coke coke if we put coal in here. And then we can use that to make more steel. So a long time ago, we found a metal bucket which allowed us to move lava around and we can do weird things like make cobblestone generators, which we're not really supposed to be able to do. <laughs> And uh, recently, I did some research on the giant ticks, and I there's something I want to try out here. Okay, so here's the deal. The things we are crafting now in this mod pack are becoming more and more expensive, and we need more and more raw resources like metal to craft them, right? Uh, which means we're blowing through our giant's picks. Even though we can process the metal much faster now, we still need to collect it, and uh, we're running out of giant's picks. So we're trying to figure out a way where we can either repair them or craft them. And the way these work is they mine a four by four by four area and it checks the block you mine for any near in that four by four by four area and then breaks them all. So if we go, actually let's mark this. We'll use netherrack for now. So this is the four blocks this way that we can mine. Let's figure out the four blocks this way now. The four by four by four always falls on a chunk border, but I'm not sure where that is. I don't know if we can check it using F3 even in this old version of Minecraft. So we kind of got to just test and figure it out. Okay, so here it didn't break this block. So this is one of the borders. And then we're going to check the height here. Okay, so two blocks up. So now that we've done that, we know the four by four by four area that it's going to mine. 
and we're going to build a little platform here so we can find it easily. So we're going to build a 4x4x4 four by four by four thing of cobblestone on that platform area we figured out. So the giant pig should mine out this entire thing of cobblestone. And if you do that, it should create, according to a forum post I read, <laughs> that's how you make the giant cobblestone, which you need to craft these and I think to repair them as well. So let's do a mine. And there it is. Yeah, look, it worked. Now, another important thing about this is we're playing Minecraft 1.7.10. This is before mending became a thing in the game. So if we want to repair our giant picks, we have to do it on an anvil. Oh, it doesn't work. No. I thought that's what you had to use. I guess not. Oh, man. So we have to figure out a way to get the wood then, too. I don't know if we can do that. So I kind of doubt this is going to work, but we're going to try it out just in case. Yeah, and well, you know, you got to try these things, right? That, that idea kind of fell through, though. So we're going to go back to the hunting strategy. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of research here as well. And it seems like the blunderbuss, what we've been using as our main weapon, does like 2,000 damage or something. I, I thought it was pretty good. Apparently, there's better stuff out there, though, that we can make now. So we got to get the engineer's blueprint for the ammo. We're going to try to get the immersive engineering revolver. And then we craft them. On uh, engineer's workbench here, it takes five copper for three of these casings. That's pretty expensive, but we got tons of copper now, thanks to all the automated processing we have going on. So we can mass produce these, no problem. I think you can reuse them as well. Grab our chisel. Now we don't have a ton of lead here, but we ha we have a bit. So we're gonna do that to it. We take our blueprint for the ammo. It gives us a bunch of different options here. We just dump in ingredients, gunpowder, lead nuggets, and uh, is it paper? No, casings. Yeah, now we can craft the cartridges here, so we'll make 36 of those. Did it double it? No, it's just a glitch. <laughs> Alright, so we got 36 shots, and now we want to make the revolver for shooting these. Revolver. Probably should have made this first, actually. This thing over here, yeah. So this is basically just a bunch of iron and steel. Nothing we don't have right now, so that's good. Uh, how's this doing? Is it finished? We got eight steel made. Put them all together and we got ourselves a revolver. Okay, so this thing is pretty cool. We hold shift, we right click, we load in our cartridges like this. Oh, left click, not right click. Okay, there we go. And then there's something else we can make here called the revolver speed loader. It takes one steel, four iron. And this is like a second round of shots. So we load this up like that as well. And then when our revolver runs out of ammo, we just shift right click this, I think, and it'll refill it automatically. So that's, that's going to be pretty handy. Otherwise, you got to really finick around to take the casings out of the revolver and stuff. So we get a bunch of giants that spawn around our home here, but those are just naturally spawning in and they are actually pretty rare. If we want to get lots of giants picks, we're going to have to hunt them out. And they spawn in these special houses, but when they come out of them, they are extra aggressive. <laughs> they run really fast, like faster than I can run, pretty much. Um, well, maybe not now that we got this armor on, but like they, they always killed me before when I would try to tackle them. And I think the closest one is somewhere around the water here, if I remember right. Oh yeah, I think I just saw it on the map, actually. It's not too far from our house. But normally I try to stay clear of this thing because it like always kills me. Get around here. Yeah, right over there. That's so there's a spawner in that building right there. I'm so tense here. Oh jeez! There's three of them. I've never seen that. Like, look at these guys. They are so much more aggressive than the other guys normally. But now that we got this revolver. Okay, it does like 2,000. But the good thing is this is like a quick shot. Blunderbuss takes like 10 seconds to reload. This thing is nice and quick. All right, we got a giant pick. Look, look at that. Right? Why can't I pick it up? Uh-oh. Oh, here comes the other guy. <laughs> oh, and we're out of shots. Oh, we just did the reload. Oh, another guy's coming. Ah! <laughs> okay. We don't have enough shots to kill both of them, I don't think. Just one of them. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, we're out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, so that's a huge improvement to our weapon. The blunderbuss, it takes like three seconds to shoot it. Like you got the charge up time plus like 10 seconds to reload. Revolver is pretty much instant and it's long range shooting. 
and holds many shots and stuff. So it, it is so much better. Plus, yeah, we got the casings back, so we can just craft up a couple more. All it costs is lead and gunpowder. And uh, we got the revolver thing here, so we can do this. And then we got empty casings in this thing right now, but if we do the reload, we get those back. And we can get more, just like that. And it's looking like there's a couple upgrades for the revolver too. So this inflicts shock damage. I think that freezes enemies if they don't die from the shot. And there's a extended magazine for more uh, shots. That's probably more important at the moment. Phew. He took a lot of hits actually. I think that guy has extra armor or something. Okay, so we probably do want to get the armor piercing bullets eventually, but they require steel and constantan which is a little bit expensive for us at the moment. That's nickel <laughs> and copper. Yeah, we don't have any nickel, so yeah. We'll just stick to the regular shots for right now. We'll throw an extended uh, magazine on this thing, though. And what does that do? That gives us an extra six shots. Uh, do we got bullets in here? Yeah, we do. So what happens when we reload? It doesn't fill it all the way up. Okay, very good. So we retired the blunderbuss. We got a much better weapon now. We can farm giant's picks if we want to. Uh, pretty easily. This looks like a huge sample of coal. Oh my goodness. I've never seen an ore vein this big, I don't think. <laughs> so uh, let's go get it. Uh, I did a bit more research again back at the blast furnace thing here. I guess the Minecraft charcoal, the one we need, we can't get. This coke oven doesn't exist. We can't craft it. Uh, so... That's no good, <laughs> which means if we want to use that blast furnace, we have to use coal coke, and to make coal coke, we need coal. Hence why we are mining coal right now. Oh, and it just keeps going too. Look at this. It goes all the way over here. Probably a long ways. Absolutely massive ore vein. Just fantastic. This is what I was hoping for. I think we got coal blocks in this version too, don't we? Yes, we can make the them into coal blocks, so that'll take less space. All right, check it out. We're just about done here. This is, was all solid coal before, and it's all gone now. <laughs> we used up, I think, four or five giant's picks and stuffed it all into this barrel. Okay, so coal coke takes 3,000 ticks to make one. <laughs> That's about two and a half minutes per piece, and it, we burn through it so quickly. It really doesn't last long in that blast furnace. So we're going to ramp up our coke oven count. Right now we have four. I think I'm going to try and make another four. And to do that, we need basalt bricks and we need sand. I think we'll need like a hundred of these oven bricks. So we're kind of snowballing now. It's like we're getting resources much faster and processing them faster. But we're also using them so quickly. <laughs> That's a lot of materials right there. It's not enough even. we got to get more. Uh... How much sand do we have on hand right now? I think actually, wait a second. I think there's more in these barrels. If I remember right, somewhere. Copper, oh, here we go, sand, yes. Very good. That's 32. All right, here we go. Four more Coke ovens added in. And we can just throw the full box in, I think. Yeah, it's gone. So that'll make Coke Coke blocks. It'll take a long time, but eventually we will start to Stockpile quite a few here, hopefully. And how are these two going? Yeah, they're still not done. <laughs> I put those in a long time ago, trust me. It takes a bit of time. Okay, so roughly the way this mod pack works is currently we're at tier 4 metal. That's steel. We are mass producing steel now with, with these things. Um, and we need steel to craft the immersive engineering machinery like this blast furnace and the crusher and... Uh, Refinery all these things required steel to make so they're like tier 4 machinery The tier beyond that tier 5 is Magnet magnetic craft and I think we're ready to get into that now uh, So th most of these machines require carbide. That's like the the key thing So again, this is why we want coal because that's part of the recipe, but also we need tier 5 metal That's the black steel which requires weak steel which requires nickel and we really haven't been able to find too much of this nickel stuff. <laughs> but it turns out there is a safeguard in this mod pack for it. So this is pure nickel, the Garnerite, which we can't find. Uh, there's very little of it in our world, unfortunately. We got unlucky. But there is a way of getting nickel through 
iron and we have tons of iron so we'll mostly get iron as a result but then there's a chance of getting some nickel dust as a bonus and that's how we're gonna have to get it i think so our goal is to make the grinder um to do that we need carbide so chester you got some of the black steel we made i think we got into this last episode where we started making this so we get our black steel this is the unfinished version of it and we throw it in the rolling machine with coal and we can start producing carbide and most of the magnetic craft machines are massive multi-block structures similar to the immersive engineering machines so they eat up a ton of iron and steel and stuff which is why we wanted to get this done so this is the basic machine housing um we can make a few of those that's all the granite we had we can't just use any type of rock it has to be granite uh gabbro or dacite i think so we're gonna have to go look for more of that but then uh once we get these housings we can combine it with more iron <laughs> and we get a bunch of these basic blocks so in total we need 37 of these multi-block chassis that we just made uh plus a few more for other pieces like the grinder controllers the heart of the machine and we're gonna need a bunch of stuff to to make those as well <laughs> so it's not too bad actually though i was expecting worse from this um but it, there is a bit to it. So we're going to need some copper in here, iron, and sulfur for the batteries. I guess we'll make a few of these if we can. Oh, it's missing. Oh, we got to melt down the sand, right? Turn that to liquid glass. And uh, what do we need for the motor? Bunch of copper. Okay, that's not too bad. And there we go. First battery. I guess we'll make a couple of those just so we have extras on hand. And moments like these, I'm very glad we grabbed some iron bars from the roguelike dungeons before. Because <laughs> otherwise, be, we'd have to craft those. The nice thing is, now that we got this workshop set up and our metal working a little bit better, we don't have to be super conservative like, oh, I only got five copper. We can only make five copper plates. I made a bunch extra here. And we're probably going to make a few extra motors just to have them on hand. In case stuff needs them in the future, I won't have to go back and craft one of these at a time every time because <laughs> that's what like really slows you down in mod packs when you don't just make a bunch of things at once you know uh-huh so i've been running around our world here trying to figure out where we got that smooth granite from no clue but i did stumble across a structure here that has it right over here so we can uh bust this thing apart and get it this way so to get smooth granite you have to mine all the blocks around it don't think there's any other way of getting it and then it just pops off like that Ooh. Ooh, you're not so tough anymore, are you? <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, this might have been unnecessary, actually. So it turns out the block of cold coke takes the same amount of time as an individual piece. So, like, we got 14 pieces in here and, and like, 14 over here. <laughs> so uh, this is nine times faster if you keep them in block form and then you just uncompress them after, which uh, that's that's kind of handy. And again, we need the granite for these machine housings. Awesome. So we're up to 54 of these multi-block chassis blocks. We only need 37. And uh, we got the stuff together here for the grinder. There we go. So that's going to get crafted. And then we need like a energy input and item input for it too. I can't remember. I think it's called IO or something. Yeah. Um, ooh, there's a bunch of different ones. I think we need this thing. Oh, it's just that chest in that. Oh, that's so simple. Oh my goodness. I thought it was going to be something crazy. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a couple of those. We need two two I.O. blocks. Hey, we got chests right there. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So easy. Oh, we can use the slime-based rubber. Oh, okay. These are so simple, too. Just copper and rubber. And we got tons of copper. And we got tons of rubber. We get the rubber by uh, putting slime in an oven. So that's not too hard to get, either. Oh, that's actually a really cheap wire. Oh, my goodness. Get a bunch of those made. And then we take two chassis blocks. Again, this is pretty cheap. And combine it with the wire. All right. I think we got pretty much everything here. Did this finish? It finished. All right. Oh, it's making another one. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunately, we've kind of filled up our workshop already. The only space left is up here. Kind of in an awkward spot. But I think we might use this spot for it, actually. So the way this works, from what I understand, is you put down the controller and then it 
you right clicked it yeah and it kind of shows you the layout so yeah you can see most of the blocks here are the chassis blocks but there are two special blocks on the side for the energy there and there and then there's like an item input somewhere on the side too i think and one on the top yeah right over there is the top one that goes on the back and the rest of this is chassis blocks all right here we go uh Right click it and bam, we got ourselves a grinder. Uh huh. So now the tricky part is we got to figure out how to power this thing. I'm going to try the immersive engineering wire. I don't know if it's the same type of power, but we'll see. Hopefully, no, it's not. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that would have been so easy. Oh, RF alternator generates electricity using redstone flux. That's what we want. Okay, so now we got to make an alternator, which is pretty much the exact same recipe as the motors we just made, except we need these magnets, and uh, they're pretty simple, so it's not a big deal. Although, uh, I just found out we don't have a lot of lapis, apparently. This is the last eight pieces here, so we might need to mine some of that soon, because it's all gone. And now I'm very glad we made extra copper plates and things. Because we got everything here. There we go. Like, I feel like this is the cable for sure, right? This really would... Like, what else would this be? I feel like this is where this needs to go. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, this thing has no power for some reason. Why is that? Oh, it's working. Okay, it's working. And it's converted. Oh, baby. Okay, that's great. That's what we want to see. Do we have any iron? I think we do. In here somewhere. Let's grab some of this. Oh, we only have one piece. <laughs> uh, poor limonite. Okay, we got a bunch of poor limonite. Let's try to throw that in here. Can we do it from here? Yes, we can. I, th I think we can automatically put it in the top. Oh. Oh, that's kind of weird. It's not going here. It's like spinning. Does it automatically output it in the back, maybe? Let's grab a chest. Throw that behind here. I have very little, like, knowledge of how these work, but I'm assuming it's it's pumping it out here. Nope. Oh, this is treated like a separate block. It's not like a multi-block structure over here. Okay, so this is where it's going. We got eight nickel dust from two stacks of the poor limonites. So then we can take this, and let's go to our crafter. We'll add a recipe for that. And we can start mass producing uh, nickel now, which is awesome. All right, we get nickel like that. And then I think it might need higher temperature. I'm not sure. We might be able to do it in here. Yeah, we can. So that's simple. And we got a way of getting nickel now. Woohoo! So before we end things today, I thought it might be fun. <laughs> Probably a bad idea, but we're going to try the roguelike dungeon level two again. It. We, we've done this many times, and it's kicked our butt every single time. It's, like, so much more powerful than it it should be. It, it's just insane. Plain and simple. But we're going we're gonna to see how far we can get here, now that we got a revolver and stuff. The goal is just to run like crazy, break spawners. Maybe we can fight back with the revolver now? I don't know, but uh, I'm hearing weird noises. <laughs> This got me a little worried. Oh, we found one. Actually found one. Oh, spiders? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Can we open things? Oh, we can open things. Charm of keeping. That's good. That lets you keep your inventory. Okay. This wasn't too bad so far. Uh, but now let's go try down. Go try go down a different branch. Try this way. Hello. <laughs> All right, now now we're getting uh, we're getting into it now. Um, let's go run through, light things, light things, as much as we can, and then break things. Okay, can we fight you? They got uh, they got a lot of health. So the other druid I found today, I was able to two shot. Not these ones apparently. These guys are stronger than the other ones oh and these guys well we killed the top half no problem bottom half is a little bit more tricky oh and we used our shots up 
Or maybe it's because I shot him in the back. That's what it is. We got to get him in the back. That's really hard to do, though. Out of ammo. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's just try break spawners. Yes, we got it. Okay. That was my sword. Sword does nothing on those guys. Don't even try. Um... Hmm, they're fast too. Can we reload is the question. I'm gonna try. Okay. Reloading, reloading. Dodge. Oh no, I didn't dodge. <laughs> I tried. I knew it was coming and I, I still had no reflexes. Okay. Get a couple more shots ready. Um just double check. Oh, there was another one. Sneaky, sneaky. There's got to be a druid spawner near here, too. Whoa. Okay, get him in the back. Get him in the back. Oh, oh. We killed the bottom half. Oh, out of shots again. <laughs> oh, boy. That yeah, spawner is here. And he's blocking it, so I can't even break it. What a guy. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Time to run. Time to get out of here. I think that's as far as we're going to get. Oh, it just is so brutal. You got to be really careful I don't fall off the stairs here. Well, that was a little rough, but I think it might actually be doable now with our current gear. Uh, we didn't really get anything too crazy. Torch berries, efficiency one book, and the charm of keeping. Didn't really check any of the chests, but uh, maybe, maybe we'll try again in the future. If we could get those armor piercing shots and if they actually work, we could just blast through a lot of those guys, I think. Because I think most of them have armor and that's the main thing uh, affecting us. If we, if we could two shot them instead of like five shotting them, that would be, be huge. Uh, but we're going to wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.